40 years. Friend, same! Hey, what is up society? It is your favorite wannabe influencer and sovereign Koi and welcome back to another video. If y'all read that title that you already freaking know that we're getting back into these Reddit stories. I saw some, some pretty cool titles and I'm switching it up just a little bit today. So if you guys wanna see me react to Reddit stories, then keep on watching. All right guys, let's just get right into the video. First story. My pregnant fiance refuses to take a DNA test. Okay. Yeah. Throwaway account because I don't want my personal matters on my main account. My fiance and I are not married yet, and I didn't want to get married until a paternity test of my alleged baby is established. My fiance is 14 weeks pregnant, and I know a DNA test is possible during pregnancy, and I can wait until after she has the baby to find out if I'm the father. But she refuses to take a paternity test because she doesn't want to know who the father is, because if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And because I should be proud to be a father no matter the results, and that DNA doesn't make a family. Love does. <laughs> Girl, where's the context? How she don't know who her baby daddy is? Am I missing something here? Did she cheat? What's going on here? She must have cheated. Because I'm like, how did this, how did this, how, what? What brought you this conclusion? But I don't want to financially and emotionally invest in a baby that possibly isn't mine. I also told her I refuse to sign the birth certificate because I don't want to be on the hook for child support if this baby isn't mine. My uncle signed a birth certificate and turned out the baby wasn't his, but he was still responsible for the child support since he signed the birth certificate and he never got any of the money back. So I really don't want to be in that situation. Okay, sorry for the confusion. Yeah, because we like, what's going on here? <laughs> I realized I should have mentioned this in the beginning. My fiance and I were on and off recently, but we were still intimate and she also was intimate with someone else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But we got back together and she found out she's pregnant and she doesn't know who the baby father is. She says she also doesn't want to take the paternity test because she doesn't want the baby to be the other guys because he's a loser and she doesn't love him. She wants to have the baby with me. I'm conflicted. Oh, see, book you listen. Oh, what does on and off mean? Like, what does on and off mean? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, you said that y'all were still intimate, though. So y'all really weren't on and off. Y'all were on and pretending to be off. Uh, friend, this is a tough situation to be in because it's like, dang. <laughs> you know, dang. Like, she doesn't want it to be the other guys because he's a loser. But, girl, you shouldn't be sleeping around with no losers anyway. So that was your first mistake. But second... It's like, I mean, y'all keep being on and off. So do y'all even want each other? Forget the baby for a second. Do y'all even want each other? Because y'all were on and off for who knows how long. And y'all just now coming to the conclusion that y'all want to be married? Interesting. Um, I find it interesting. I find that interesting. Y'all should probably look into why y'all were on and off. And then maybe consider even getting married. Just either wait till she has a baby or, you know, take it right to court and make them make her do it. Um, but if the baby isn't yours are you saying you're gonna leave her because it sounds like you're saying you don't want to be held responsible for a child that's not yours or be legally obligated to be around this child if that's not yours but you didn't really mention leaving her and that's the thing that i'm wondering here is it really just the baby or y'all don't end up together if y'all don't end up working out that you could just walk away is that what you're trying to ask because if you can just if that's what your plan is just to be with her and then maybe you know if y'all don't work out you can leave and not really be abandoning your kid, then okay. But if you don't plan on actually leaving her, I really don't see a reason for you to, you know, really care what the baby's gonna be, to be honest. So you did mention, you know, not wanting to get emotionally invested as well. If that's the case, then okay, still get the paternity test. Um, but yeah, you're entitled to that. And she's kind of crazy. Don't do on and off relationships, guys. If it's not working, it's not working. You know? Yeah. Next story. Am I the a-hole for sleeping with my sister's crush after she destroyed my most prized possession? Ooh, she said, get that. <laughs> okay. So a little backstory for my... So a little backstory. My sister, 18 female, got really upset with me, 19 female, the other day for eating leftovers from her favorite restaurant that I promised to give to her. For some reason, she decided this would be grounds to destroy my 1979 Fender Strat guitar that our grandfather had given me a few years before his death. <gasps> I will pull up a photo of what a Fender Strat is, y'all. I don't know what that is, but it's probably pretty cool. 
But you could, girl, over some food? Continuing, I was very obviously upset about this considering it was my last memory of my papa. It was the first thing me and him bonded over. So, as revenge, I decided I would befriend her crush, 19 male, and get close enough to sleep with him. Now she is extremely pissed and said that this was super uncalled for and extremely unfair. So am I the a-hole for sleeping with my sister's crush after she destroyed my most prized possession? And before anyone gets mad, me and her crush have actually started going out a bit and decided we like each other, so I did not use him for revenge. Well, friend, you did use him for revenge. <laughs> your whole motivation for getting with him was, was to get back at your sister. So let's not, let's not do that. Let's not sit here and lie, okay? And let's not say that he's gonna have a problem with it anyway. Men like to get laid, so he'll be alright. Um, but y'all started dating, so that's that's cool, good for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. <laughs> I mean, the Lord said not for an eye, but the Lord also said revenge is mine. You know, so it's like <laughs> this is bogus. Like this is bogus. I ain't gonna lie, this is bogus. Like, but at the end of the day, though, honestly, it's not like you slept with her man. Like it wasn't her man yet. She crushed on him, but that wasn't her man. It's your man now. <laughs> um, she was wrong. She was wrong for that. Over some leftover, sweetheart. It's not even fresh. It's not even fresh. And don't get me wrong. I'm a foodie. If somebody ate my leftovers, I will be mad too. But it's not damage and ruin and basically practice, just destroy. It's not destroy the guitar that our late grandfather gave me worthy. You know? Like, you... You, girl, no, I'm gonna go ahead and say not the a ho. Um, your sister got some problems, like, you need to go ahead and you might want to give her a break. I ain't gonna lie, because over some leftover sweetheart, you destroyed the only thing that she had left from, from y'all grandfather. Like, why would you do that over some food? Over some food, okay? Like, this is ridiculous. You can't get, get your grandfather back, and you can't get that that item back maybe you could potentially get it repaired but usually with those family heirlooms or like those antiques and stuff it's it's really hard to find parts for those it's really hard to like you know restore those type of things so it might be gone forever i'm sorry that your sister did that to you and uh good job on getting your get back <laughs> eat your words girl eat that instead of worrying about some leftovers okay moving on all right, y'all, this last one isn't a story, but this is something that I have, and I'm sure all of you have been feeling in your spirit, okay? The title is, I'm tired of work. I don't wanna work 40 hours a week for the next 40 years. Friend, same! I have a bachelor's degree and a decent paying job. Only problem is this job takes too much of my time and is extremely mentally tiring. I'm over it. My husband makes only a little bit more, but he isn't bothered by his job. I wish to have a job that pays well, has work-life balance, and fulfills me instead of drains me. I hate all of this to my core. Friend, honestly, same and to an extent. Quit that job, though. Find you a better one that has a better work-life balance. But see, me, y'all, I'm literally on the brink where it don't even matter what type of job I have, okay? I have a good-paying job, okay? Decent pay. Good out, decent hours, and literally a good work-life balance. Like I could literally go to the doctor's appointment halfway through my day because I'm on salary or whatever. So you know, I have a good job. Okay, a lot of people will probably look at my life and be like, "Girl, you set. You got it going. Like, what's going on?" But to be honest, I'm sick of it, y'all. I'm so sick of going five days of my life for eight hours of my life every day for five days straight, making money for other people. Like I'm so freaking sick of it. I really am. I want my life back. Like I hate going to work and I see the sunrise and then I'm I'm leaving work and the sun is set. Like I'm so sick of that. Like it is so overwhelming and so annoying. And I know a lot of y'all feel the same way too. Like, and I just really want to have freedom. I want to be able to go and choose a day and be like, you know what, I want to go to brunch today. You know what, I want to go to the movies today. You know what, I decided I'm gonna sleep in today. Like I want to have my life to myself, you know? And to be honest, for them girls who are out there got, got sugar daddies and out there doing, you know, you know, OS and stuff like that. Like girl, go ahead, go ahead. I am not hating on you, baby girl, because I be doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just need for a dude to come into my life and just pay for my, just for a solid year. You know, just a year. Just come into my life and just and, and take care of these bills while I just sit around and get my life together. I would, I would take that. I, I would. <laughs> for right now. Because, baby, I am over it. I am over it. Even though I got a good paying job and I have decent hours and all this stuff, I am over it. And I'm sure that y'all are too. So yeah, y'all go ahead, drop y'all stuff down in the comment section, okay? <laughs> 
moving on. All right, society, that is it for this freaking video, y'all. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and share and drop down your opinions down in the comments. And if you're new, hi, I am Koi. I would love for you to join my beautiful society by hitting that big old red button down below. And for all my beautiful society members, please make sure to hit that bell notification so you get notified when I post. All right, guys, I love ya. Bye.